Hey, I'm gonna have to call you back. I've been pulled over. License and registration. Do you know why I pulled you over today? No, officer. You changed lanes without a signal a little while back. I was just trying to get out of your way. I saw that you were talking earlier. Were you on the phone while you were driving? No, officer. Can you step out of the car, please? What for? Step out of the car. Sis, I'm going to have to call you back, okay? I, I, I've been pulled over. I thought you had Bluetooth. You shouldn't be on the phone unless you have your Bluetooth connected. I know, I just haven't gone around to it. You have to be careful, you know? Otherwise, you can get in trouble with the police and that could go south real fast. License and registration? You know why I pulled you over today? No, officer. You changed lanes without a signal a little while back. I was just trying to get out of your way. Who are you talking to just now? My sister. Is she still there? I don't think so. Were you on the phone while you were driving? Step out of the car, please. What the hell for? I thought you said you hung up. There's no reason for you to have him step out the car for forgetting to goddamn signal. Sis, be quiet. Hang up the phone. What for? You don't want to be called out? You scared? Sis, shut the hell up. I said turn off the damn phone. Stop moving. Don't make any sudden movements. You told me to turn off the phone. Stop moving or I'll be forced to. All I'm doing is... I knew we should have taken the other way home. Relax, just... Don't say anything. Okay, but you know that you're not required to answer any of his questions, right? License and registration. Do you know why I pulled you over today? No, officer. Change lens had a signal a little while back. I was just trying to get out of your way. Where are you heading? Just on our way home, sir. You live in this neighborhood? Just about. <sighs> Is that so hard to believe? Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to step out of the car. She's not even driving. Step out of the car? Sir, I don't think- Turn around, hands behind your back. What am I being arrested for? You're not being arrested, I just need you to cooperate, ma'am. Sir, that is not necessary. Turn around. <sighs> Ow! What the hell? Stop struggling. I already did everything you asked, you don't need to grab me like that. Stop! <sighs> Stop! What are you doing? Get on the ground now! You're resisting a police officer! You're hurting me! Sir, I said stay inside of the car! <laughs> Hold still! Get your hands off my sister! She didn't do anything wrong! I said stay in the car! I knew we should have taken the other way home. This way is always swarmed with police cars. Relax, just don't say anything. God damn it, okay. Fine. License and registration.
you know why I pulled you over today? No, officer. Changed lens had a signal a little while back. I was just trying to get out of your way. Where are you heading? Just on our way home, sir. You live in this neighborhood? Just about. Right. So, can I get you both to step out of the car real quick? Wh what for? Step out of the car, please. Sir, I don't understand what the problem is. We haven't done anything wrong. There is no problem. I just want to make sure you're both okay. Is there anything in the car I should be aware of? No, sir. May I search the car? Do you have a warrant? Ma'am. Then no. Turn around, hands behind your back. What am I being arrested for? You're not being arrested, I just need you to cooperate, ma'am. Sir, that is not necessary. Turn around. Why are you so adamant on arresting me? I haven't done anything. We haven't done anything. Ma'am, I don't want to hurt you, but if you refuse to cooperate, I'll be forced to- You weren't forced to do anything. Look, if everyone could just take a second to- Hey, wait a second. Get your hands off of me. Let go of my sister. What the hell are you doing? We haven't done anything. We have been listening and following directions this whole time. If we cooperate, I get shot. If we talk back, I get shot. If we stand up, I get shot. If we're on the ground, I get shot. What more do you want? Hey, you better post this video, you hear me? He has me out here on my knees for no goddamn reason and is, and is out here looking like a damn fool. I would think very carefully about your next move, officer. I, uh... I'm gonna run. Uh, check on your license. You can get back in the car now. Here you are. You're free to go. Have a safe trip home. Thank you, officer. to live to sit and putter life's candy and the sun's a ball of butter don't bring her on a cloud or rain on my parade don't tell me not to fly i've simply got to if someone takes the smell it's me and not you who told you you're allowed to rain on my parade i'll march my band out i'll beat my drum and if my band out your turn at bat sir at least i didn't fake it hat sir i guess i didn't make it but rather run the rose of sheer perfection a freckle on the nose of life's complexion the cinder or the shiny apple of its eye I gotta fly once, I gotta try once I'm thinking die once, right sir Life is juicy, juicy and you'll see I gotta have my bite, sir Get ready 
ready for me love cause I'm a comer I've simply gotta march my heart's a drummer don't bring her on a cloud or rain on my brain I'm gonna live and live now get what I want I know how one roll with the whole champagne one throw that bell will go clang high on the target and wham one shot one gunshot and bam hey Mr. Give me the spark notes version So I don't waste my time Oh, not down to read another book again With the same storyline Where he slays the dragon And she kisses him Prince Charming It's not simple to say 
but most days I don't recognize me in these shoes and this apron, this place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. It's not easy to know I'm not anything like I used to be, although it's true I was never attention sweet center. I still remember that girl. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be mine. And you're not what I asked for. Sometimes life just slips in through the back door and carves out a person that makes you believe it's all true. Now I've got you, and you're not what I asked for. If I'm honest, I know I would give it all. But she'll learn how to tap an apple when she's bruised and gets used by a man who can love. And then she'll get stuck and be scared of the life that's inside her, going stronger each day to find. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She's gone, but she used to be It's so good to see you, girl. You too. It's been so long since we all got together, huh? Way too long. What do you think of the setup? I love it. What's the occasion, though? Ooh, girl, you got bubbling? What is going on? I'll explain once everyone gets here. It's a surprise. Boy, this isn't a race. I should have got here first. Hey, you two, sit down, eat, get comfortable. Is, is that champagne? Yes, yes it is. <laughs> you know, I turned 18 not too long ago. I, I, I'm a real adult. So, could, could I have some? 
Easter, baby. We're celebrating today, so of course. What are we celebrating? I have no clue. Tat's gonna tell everybody once everyone gets here. Who are we even waiting on? Just Garrett and Isaiah. Sorry we're late, y'all. Somebody got distracted by those stray dogs and made us late. Sorry, I'm sorry. They were way too cute to ignore. It's been way too long, y'all. I missed you guys. I'm glad we could all get together. I've got some amazing today. Y'all ready? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So y'all know I have with everything that goes on down there. Ever since people like us got taken away, the world's been in an uproar. Chaos, riots, boycotts, you name it. However, things have gotten better. I don't believe that. So go on. Free. My sister, the very definition of black excellence, people fought for you, walked for you, and some even went to jail because they refused to stay quiet until you got the justice you rightfully deserve. And my dear, you finally got it. What do you mean? I mean, those men who came to you and took your life, you just got arrested. What? How? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Girl, let me tell you, they reopened the case, your family took those cops to court, they got certain papers, and they just stripped the pieces of their badges on site. Your family took them to court, and man, I've never seen a jury come to a decision so quick. Five hours. It took those men five hours to understand that those streets they were spending 25 years in jail. So, it's over? It's finally over. Wow. Now what? What do you mean? Well, now what? What else happened? Did anyone else get anything? Or are we all supposed to just wait around for more hopes and prayers? Oh, I'm not done. Isaiah, baby, the same thing happened to you. Wait, really? Yep. So many people signed petitions for you nearly a year after you were taken away. The list of names of people who wanted justice for you, man. I never seen a list so long. So oh, what what happened after the petitions, I mean? There were so many signatures that those leaders would have been blind to ignore it. They would have been blind to ignore you. So your case is reopened. Really? So to the shit ton of people getting angry for Isaiah's case to get reopened? Hasn't it been a year or two? Why the delay? Beats me. Sometimes that's just how things go. But Isaiah, the cops who killed you are going to be standing on trial in about two weeks. Oh my God. Garrett, the protests are still going strong. I mean, look. thought this would have died down by now. They were so strong for a while, but I just expected it to die down. Is it sad that I expected that? Not at all. I mean, I knew mine would die down. And I watched it happen, sure. The petitions were signed, protests happened, but after a while, I just became another black woman shot and killed by the police. How's my daughter? She's well, just as bright and smiling as you left her. She misses you, no doubt. Oh, Travis, I meant to tell you, your coaches came together and created a scholarship in your name. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes, baby, I had so much promise, everyone knew. So, they're making sure kids like you with the same promise get the future they deserve. Want to know the best for it? Your best friend, the first recipient. Oh, my boys are going to college. Yes. What about the cops that killed him? They going to jail? Did they lose their jobs? Not yet. So no one's getting punished. They just got a slap on the wrist? 
Thank God people have money to give people to give a name scholarship after a decade. Alyssa. Bitch, why do you always gotta be so damn negative? Travis language. Alyssa, why are you talking like that? I'm sorry. Travis, that's awesome for you. Rhea and Isaiah, y'all are finally getting justice, and that's great. But why now? Why not right after y'all got killed? You all just sat up here, and your family sat down there, hoping and waiting for something to come of y'all dying? It's nice to matter how long this took. Everyone has had a vacation, baby. It's nothing personal. But Ted, it is personal. If I was a white girl, the cops who killed me would have been booked in a matter of days. If Travis was outside playing guns with a white kid, those cops would have given him a handshake. He wouldn't be dangerous or a thug. Y'all know I'm right. Is that why everyone's quiet? And for the record, I've been patient. Like, resting on my laurels for 10 years kind of patient. I've had my fair share of patience, but now I'm wondering, what about me? Did anyone get angry for me? Is my family finally able to breathe? I've been up here for 10 years and I haven't seen any change. So tell me, did you see or hear anything about me? Your family is doing well. That's not what I mean. What I mean is, did you see that cop get arrested? Did you hear anything about my case reopening? I don't know, did they name a fucking school after me? Did anything at all come from me dying? So I just gotta be patient, huh? Wait my turn? I wish I had something for you, baby, I really do. Tatiana? How do you know all this? Yeah, you're always in the loop. Why do you know everything about what's going on? I watch. I pay attention. I keep tabs on everything that's going on because I know we were taken away way too early. So I like to observe and see if anything's changed because of us. Ow, why? Doesn't it hurt? It did at first, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I had the rest of my life that still needs to be lived. I was supposed to get my own place, maybe a dog. I meet a man who's really intimidated by me like the others. And then we get married. We probably have a couple kids and life will be easy. But I didn't get that. So I just watch. And I know that we were all taken out at Earth and I hate, but I also know that people will always have our backs. Even though we aren't there. Does that make sense? I can't watch anymore. I used to stay up late and watch over everyone and make sure they were managing without me. I would sleep during the day just so I could stay up late and watch over them at night. Now it just hurts too much. I eventually had to stop watching and hope they are doing okay with me gone. You don't want to know how they're doing or what they're doing? Well, of course I do. I miss them terribly and I know they miss me. But I can't be okay on missing out on anything else. I mean, I miss out on a lot since I was killed. Birthdays, graduations, weddings. Being dead is a different kind of FOMO. I feel that. I miss my own graduation. No cap, no gown, no diploma, no, no big ceremony. Nothing. We all miss out on something. Or we'll miss out on something eventually. Free's right. Being dead is being left out, but it's different. I'm gonna miss my daughter's wedding. Her uncle's gonna have to walk her down the aisle. She won't get a father-daughter dance. She'll get an uncle-niece dance. And that's not the same. We all know that. I miss music. Not the stuff you hear on the radios. I miss my instruments. My guitar, my violin. I miss making music. 
you know, my nephew doesn't even play video games anymore at all. He sold his PlayStation and his Xbox and all of his games. My mom asked him why, and he said, I don't want to play them if I can't play with Aunt Top. How old is he? He's nine. Nine. What nine-year-old thinks like that? Well, he lost one of his favorite people or he one of his favorite things. But there's a number on someone, let alone a kid. Bree's right. Something bad happens when people are doing something good, something normal. And it makes you feel like you haven't been doing anything at all. I mean, my brother can't pretend to the ice anymore. My grandma gave our couch away. She just left it on the side of the road and waited for some college kids to take it. I'm in the same boat as Bree. Seeing everything go on without me just hurts. I should be there. I know it and everyone else knows it. Here I am. Nerf guns were my favorite toy, you know? I I used to watch I used to watch all these kids go outside and play with them when I first came up here. And I, I was so sad and frustrated because that's that's why I died and they get to go on, live their lives, do their thing. But I guess, I guess I grew up, I, I, I realized that it wasn't really sadness and anger. I was, I was nervous and on edge for them. I would tense up and wonder if they were going to miss out on growing up the same way I did because of, because of some nerf guns. I don't know I was going to get engaged. Kind of, I suppose. I was supposed to be ready. Isn't it crazy that instead of worrying about dresses or arrangements or the hell my bridesmaids are going to be, I had to worry about potentially getting shot. No one should have to worry about that. Now what? Some of us have finally gotten justice, but what about those who haven't? Wait, sit back. So, I mean, all of these things take time. Not everyone got justice, though. Tatiana, any updates on you? No, but it's okay. My justice will come. I just gotta wait. You know, you know the the march on the march on Washington still. Yeah, I saw that. Fifty-seven years after my speech, right? Mm-hmm. I hope he's watching this. I hope his dreams keep coming true. They will. Slowly, but surely. Still a long way to go, though. Justice still isn't for all. Come on, y'all. Let's watch some art. One, two, three, four. I get a little sister. She looks just like me. I know that she's bound to become my best friend. Five, I meet my first real friend in kindergarten. She's the complete opposite of me, but our smiles are just the same. Her straight hair makes my curls look huge and her hushed tones make my loud laughter sound like an earthquake. Six, seven, eight. My third grade teacher tells me to not let anyone step on me and I take that advice in a backpack home with me. Nine, 10, 11. I move to a school where I am one of two black people in the room. What are you is a topic of discussion almost daily. I spend lunches either alone or with my English teacher who believed in me more than I believed in me. 
12, I start opening up like a flower to my mom about all of my bad days. 12, mom, I want my hair straight. 12, I transfer to a school where I become part of the majority. 12, I feel happy again. My face contains a natural smile and we spent that summer at the river with the people who should have been family. 13, I made a home out of the choir room and I didn't leave until I learned how to speak my mind. 14, my parents aren't together anymore. Crossing the bridge around 3 p.m. every Sunday became a new routine. 14, I get lost going to math class. Um, 14, my four foot 11 dance coach makes me question my own talent. My knee twists and pops and the bed rest post-op was the first time I actually took care of myself. 15, I find God again and he welcomes me into the church five minutes away with open arms. The boy in the seat behind me tells me that I'm pretty and he becomes the first boy to meet my dad. 15, I haven't seen my uncle since Thanksgiving. 15, I found the stage for the first time. 16, I got my voice back and I stopped straightening my hair. 16, I am reminded that my body is a temple when someone says they only want me for their pleasure. 16, I missed the stage that year. 17, after round two of my SATs, my dad's girlfriend moved in and I was hardly home that year. 17, the boy from yearbook told me that I was too hard to love, so therefore I loved myself even harder. 17, I learned that family has become something I am both blessed with and that I get to choose. 17, I'm going to Los Angeles. 18, I leave the evergreen trees for the Hollywood sign. 18, I miss my grandpa. 18, I can breathe and I can write, but I can't sleep. Grief was the sneaky little demon that kept me awake at night. 18, I saw my work on a stage for people to see. My body tingles and my eyes water and I'm reminded that I am a storyteller. 19, I go to my friend's funeral. He was supposed to graduate high school and see his sister get married, but he didn't. 19, I exercise as often as I can and eat as good as I can, but why do I still feel so sad? 19, I took charge of myself and let myself feel things completely. 19, in the heights, no justice, no peace. Just breathe. Black Lives Matter 20. I've gotten a lot better at doing things for me. I've made edits to my social circle and I'm no longer beating myself up for being selfish with my energy. 20, I'm working to change the world as if it's my day job. I found people and things that make life easier. 20, whenever someone asks me how I am, I say, I'm really good. And I actually mean it. In 1740, a new law stated that killing a rebellious slave was not a crime, and even the murder of a slave was only treated as a minor misdemeanor. So I wanted to write this piece called Minor Misdemeanor. Day to day, I try to delay a way to rage. I'm in the limbo while they got they balanced and unfazed. Trying to be that destination that my people paid. A better future with the mic I'm hoping to create. Like every step I take, I know they're gonna criticize. But every legend made, never let their demons win inside. So when they set the stage, my voice will sound, the pen will fly. And I'ma be a great before my window's minimized. But it's more than me. World's been through gory things. Australia on fire and now everything on quarantine. Halfway through the year, got me anxious what the morning brings. But I ain't giving up till the angels here in glory sings. When you hit rock bottom, your confidence hard to rally. Cause all around you is mountains and you feel you in the valley. Lately my mind is hard pressed to get my people are pressed. So these badges don't oppress. I'll fight for freedom no less. And if you think you know less and got no way for educating, I promise Google will know more and get you situated. But I ain't perfect. I got some Googling to do. Sexual abuse. My response was always blues clues. What I mean, didn't know until I looked around. Man excusing rape. Is that really how we getting down? Really disgusted. Black men even share this view. Did you forget they were on the streets when we in the news? Did you forget they were on the streets when we in the news? Black women been writing for us and that's the truth. So the next dude detects through his ex nudes, trying to play his cards right, he's finna get decked too. Black Panther model, I mean it for my community. Attacking for my people, I will die just for unity. 
I don't got the answers, but we do. Felt like giving up, but mama said, baby, they need you. Stronger together, divided you, let evil beat you. Next generation blinded you, the ones they see through. So don't get complacent, but don't think you're racing. It's a balance, you'll be fine, just check your pace. It's easy to give up and claim that you're on the sidelines. I was selfish and greedy, thinking about my time. I was scared of opening up, letting people in. When I was younger, those actions met with no dividends. But it's time to change, time to be the change. Breaking off these chains, so I won't see the same. Had to remind my mind what times I fight for. Chilling with family, telling jokes we made the night warm. I miss laughing, I miss when joy was evident. I miss not feeling hated from the president. I miss dancing with my family, hit that cha-cha slide. I miss the times when nothing really killed my vibe, but I worked to bring him back. Yeah, you can count on that. Yeah, in service of the world, that's how I make every track. Hey, um, I'm calling because I wanted to check in on you, you know, with everything going on. The protests, the riots, the looting, shooting. The whole thing, really. It's got me scared. Like, uh, let me call Jira. I don't understand why I gotta fight for my way to survive in a world designed to oppress. I'm depressed. The next time someone asks me, Hey, how are you? Well, what can I be? Circles constant because of the revolutions. Many dreams, Dr. King, now they're getting lucid. Truth and teary eyes, exactly what my voice producing. Hearing George shout out, Mama made me really lose it. Like, imagine if my son calling out my name. And I'm in heaven already, but still I feel the pain. Shit would make me tear up. Really wanna gear up. Vocal on the protest, but you silent when my tears up. Funny, when we dying, this shit is just not your business. But now the protest rising, and you the biggest of critics. I can't believe that, but my hope is on the people. Majority flooring to see the day we truly equal To change the nation, it's a long ride Yeah, it ain't something I'm doing part-time It's in prosperity, seeming like it's a far cry They were thinking the same when they stopped apartheid huh. I don't understand why I gotta fight for my way To survive in a world designed to oppress I'm depressed Well, what can I begin? There's a whole goddamn list. Oh. The world is upside down, and in an upside down world, I'm still oppressed. And now tell me, how does that make sense? Rest in peace, Martin Luther King. I'm trying to fulfill your dream with the sea. You left a society that's a tea like Boston. People are arguing. Those who knew me for my existence ain't fighting for my existence. Look me in the eyes and tell me how that makes sense. Like, bitch. I don't understand why I gotta fight for my way to survive in a world designed to oppress. I'm depressed. The next time someone asks me, Hey, how are you? Well, what can I be? What does black excellence mean to me? To me, black excellence means hope. Celebrating what black people have done is about celebration and acknowledgement and this undying love for my blackness. Knowing that as a black person, you're born great. Greatness is, is in your blood. No one can take my existence away from me. So just continue to make your own space, even when they kick you out. Because they will kick you out. To me, black excellence means a black person at their best. And honestly, I feel as though we're always at our best. It's just sometimes harder to show it. Black excellence is about perseverance. It is about defiance. It is about um, this unwavering kind of sense of strength. I am here and I'm going to stay here. And I am hope for the future. Just knowing that I can change the world, it lights this fire inside of me and 
it's safe to believe that I can do anything, I can change the world. And know that the only person that can affirm your greatness 